Welcome to 2K Sports Annual Noche NBA presentation. We're excited to bring you this celebratory fusion of basketball and Latin culture. With Hall of Famers Grant Hill and Doris Burke, this is Brian Anderson. Joining us from the sidelines, Ali LaForce. And as a rule of thumb, the road can really test your team's depth. But they all stepped up and collectively produced a lot of points. But how about the job they got from their bench? That productivity was a major part of the outcome. Now the starting group for the visitors. Kevin Herter out there with Kimball Walker. Then it's Royce O'Neal. Then it's Nemanja Bielica. And it's Martin in at the three. They get it back. Here's Aiton. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Well, we're talking about a big-time rebounder. DeAndre Ayton's timing excellent. Herter passes to Bielica, and the foul called on Nemanja Bielica. That's his first foul. Doris, you can feel the tone change around the league at this time of the year. Players starting to get into playoff mode. There is no doubt about it. The intensity level rises. Teams are trying to build momentum. You are trying to be at the peak of your performance, both individually and collectively, as we are so close to postseason action. Night after night, game after game, Chris Paul understands where to put the ball and when. Nicely done. Martin outside to the paint. Stolen by Aiton. Shoots over Walker. Again, the Suns good for two. <laughs> An outstanding first quarter from the field. Pass to O'Neal. Back to Martin. The Suns clear it. Everything right except the finish. Have to keep focus all the way through the play. To the inside. Oh, and the jam by Aiton. Well, the length and athleticism of DeAndre Ayton make that an easy opportunity. Visitors with the ball. Eight-point game. Outside Herter. Pass to O'Neal. And he buries his first look. And the first quarter of action, two minutes in. And the Phoenix Suns have been a completely different team since acquiring Chris Paul. He's the leader of this team, and he helps set the tone on both ends. Crowder finds Paul. Eight with a screen on Walker. Paul passes to Aiden, and that one's good. Aiden's got eight. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. Boy, the city of Phoenix really embracing Chris Paul as soon as he arrived. Yeah, I mean, he's in the latter stages of his career now, but you would never know it based on how hard he plays every single night. He just makes everyone on this team so much better. Shamit, a chance to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Bridges against Martin. Pass to Bielica. And the jam by Bielica. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. Where was the defense? No help. You can't afford to give up these kinds of buckets. He drops it from range. He's got five. Well, so quick off the pass. I mean, Crowder timing that shot perfectly, staying one step ahead of the defense. Herder passes to Bielita. And a nice finish on the layup. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Now here's Paul. 4-3. And the Suns get another three. You can't help but look toward their defense. <laughs> They're totally lost. Herter finds Walker. Here's Bielita. Martin outside. Pass to O'Neal. Crowder grabs the miss. Here's Shaman. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. That one's good for two. 
They've controlled the paint so far. That's been the difference. I know it's early, but you have got to like the dominance down low. Right now, they are playing bully basketball. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. They'll take possessions like that one all day. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Well, that was clearly a foul. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Suns. They've been really going at the defense in the painted area, and so far the opposition really hasn't had an answer for them. Another big component of their early game tonight has been points off turnovers. Great job converting on those chances. And so he makes both from the line. Well, this guy has multiple ways to get to the free throw line, and boy, has his stroke been on the money. Crowder outside. Pass to Paul. Here's Shaman. Now Eden. Again gets it to go. He can't miss. Five for five. And early on, they've been on a tear. Just getting whatever they want offensively. Well, what I love is the game plan has been solid from the opening tip. And guys are making their shots. That's critical. That one falls. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. Right wing. Here's Paul. Aiden. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Aiton's got 12. Already six of their points coming off second chances. Pretty impressive. Phoenix making some changes. McGee, he's checked in for Crowder. Johnson comes in for Shamit. And it's Ennis in for Paul. Aiton's gotten all six of his shots to drop. Perfect from the floor. Herter finds Jones. Back to Herter. Here's Cousins. Covered by McGee. Herter passes to Jones. Can't hit. One for two now. And here are the Suns. Leading by 12. Ooh, a good look from Bridges. Here's Aiton. Oh, he remains perfect. Seven for seven, showing no signs of letting up. And they've quickly gathered eight second chance points thus far. Outside Craig, three-pointer, and he buries his first look. Well, the defense daring him to shoot, and he makes them pay for their disrespect. Here's Ennis, defended by Jones. Aiton passes to McGee. Rebounded by Cousins. Outside Herter. Griffin against Aiden. Two minutes remaining in the front. Outside Craig. And the deficit down inside single digits. Craig's got his second basket of the night. You know, when we talk about DeMarcus Cousins and the all-around skills he brings to a game, it's the passing that's a huge part of it. Ennis. Can't cash it in from close range. Boy, against so little defensive pressure, you have to convert that. Jones finds Craig. Three shots, three baskets. Great efficiency so far. And this night already has the makings of an offensive war. Well, the fans love it. Coaches may not like the lack of defense, but boy, the rules promote scoring, no doubt. To the middle is Griffin. Uneasy two on the layup. They closed the gap over the last few possessions, but can they push through and grab the lead? Yeah, it feels like they've ramped up their intensity. They have forced good things to happen. Now they're back in it. Here's Ennis looking for his first basket still in this one. Here's Aiton. Oh, he's on fire. Eight for eight and just looking relentless. Eight for eight. <laughs> He's on an absolute tear. Pass to Griffin. 
Here's Cousins. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. This definitely helps your offense. You're not relegated to the perimeter with Cousins on the floor. You can create easy opportunities. Here's McGee. And we've got 28 seconds left to play in the first. And there's the foul. It'll go on Tyus Jones. That's his first foul of the game. Kaminsky, he's checked in for McGee. Substitution on the court. Twenty-three seconds left in the first. Bridges outside. He buries it from three. And the Suns lead by eight. Yeah, they've done quality work on the offensive glass. Pass to Martin. And here's Jones. Here's Griffin. Here's Martin. And that's not gonna go. The scoring is fast and furious as we end the first. The Suns on top, leading by eight. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. All right, guys, what stands out to you from the Suns in this one? But simple. When you can dominate the boards at both ends, you can control the second chance touches. And that's how they controlled the first quarter. I thought they were the much more physical team. We've got Chris Paul. Frank Kaminsky is out there with Dario Saric. Then there's Jay Crowder. And it's Shamit in at the two guard spot. That's the Suns five as we get into the second quarter. Now, this is a comfort zone for Chris Paul. That mid-range game, mm -mm, you better guard it. O'Neal on the wing. The kick out to Walker. Driving inside. That one goes in. Walker's gotten his second bucket. Their offense is really humming right now, and it's because of the beautiful ball distribution. Here's Shaman. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to be on Nemanja Bialica. The officials were right on top of that one. You know, Grant, sometimes with certain flagrant fouls, you'll hear people say it was a dirty play, but not a dirty player. But when does it become both? Well, we all understand, B.A., dirty plays aren't good for the game. But sometimes a flagrant foul will happen. A lot of times, though, you have to factor in a pattern of behavior. I really believe players who have a history of being called for a lot of flagrant fouls plays a big role in how it's perceived. And here's Walker. Martin outside. Inside. Pass to O'Neal. Outside Walker. It's Martin on the wing. Back to Walker. Martin outside. Down low. Oh, Kaminsky with a steal. It's Shamit on the wing. Walker covering. A chance to check out the Phoenix Suns' upcoming schedule. On Wednesday, they'll be facing Kevin Durant and the Brooklyn Nets. Then on Friday, they'll face off against Kyle Lowry and the Miami Heat. And for their matchup with New Orleans, it's never easy facing off with the best in the West. But if they somehow can win that one, It'll be huge for their confidence. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. Paul for three. Kept alive. And he drives in. The layup off target. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Inside. Boom! He jams it straight down. Flying in with the one-hand slam. That right there was a statement finish. The Suns leading. Boy, when you talk about Kemba Walker, what comes to mind is a guy who historically can go out and get you buckets despite the diminutive size. Offensive board and Crowder with the jam. How about the relentless effort on the backboards? Crowder utilizing his size to eat the window. Pass to O'Neal. 
And from the field after that one, three for four now. And Walker can still be a valuable part of a team's rotation doors. Well, anybody who could score it as consistently as Kemba Walker has in his past life is going to be someone who can contribute. This guy can dominate defenses in pick and roll action. If he's got the three game cooking, providing that balance to that triple drive game, look out. Now here's Martin. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Ialita finds Walker. Martin with the ball. He drains that one after two misses. Now one for three. And you know Coach loves seeing his offense operate at this level. Great passing out there. Paul passes to Kaminsky. Now here's Sharich. Another shot. Can't get the layup. Boy, this offense has been dynamic and diversified. Just everyone sharing the ball and sharing the load makes you difficult to defend. And the shot goes in. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. Walker against Paul. The baseline J. And he can't get that one. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Pass to O'Neal. Outside Walker. It's Martin on the wing. Martin outside. Bielitsa with the ball. He's guarded by Paul. Five to shoot. Here's O'Neal. Over Sharich. Beats the shot clock, but can't get it to fall. And here are the Suns now. They've led by as many as 14. And the basket by Shaman. Well, you love Crowder's willingness to distribute the basketball. His vision allows him to set his teammates beautifully. Some changes for Phoenix. McGee comes in for Kaminsky. And it's Bridges in for Chris Paul. Now here's Jones. Here's Craig. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Johnson, he's checked in for the Suns. Tory Craig, one shot. And that one falls for Craig. And it's Phoenix's ball. Six-point game. And the basket by Shamit. Shamit's got six points in the quarter. Well, a tough first quarter for this guy. You like to see the shot go in. Nicely done. Outside Jones. Pass to Cousins. Back to Jones. And here's Herter. Griffin with it. Uses the glass on the layup. Griffin's got his second basket. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. And McGee with the stuff. Ugh, slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. Now here's Herter. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Jones, the pass to Craig. Back to Jones. To the inside. Griffin's shot is off. Oh, love the intensity once you're hitting the boards. 14 feet away. He goes up again. They shoot again. McGee's shot is off. McGee's gotten just one of his four attempts from the floor tonight. Outside Craig. To the middle. Griffin passes to Herter. Shoots over McGee. That one a tad offline, but it drops in for him. Herter's got his first points in this one. Just a tremendous look right there by Blake. This guy's got great court vision and excellent touch. Here's Shamit. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. 
It's going to go on to Marcus Cousins. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. And he knocks down the first one. Boy, showing a lot more aggressiveness now after making zero trips to the line in the first quarter. Some changes for Phoenix. DeAndre Ayton, he's checked in for McGee. And it's Ennis in for Sharic. Both good from the line that time. Yeah, they, they're really cashing in more at the line here in the second quarter. Cousins with it. Herder passes to Craig. Cousins against Aiden. Two minutes remaining. Clock at six. Herder can't hit. And it's Phoenix's ball. They're leading by eight. Ennis. Pass to Aiden. Out to Bridges. Fires the three. It's hauled in by Herder. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. Stolen by Bridges. It's Ennis on the wing. Tips it up. Great positioning on the putback. Aiden's got 18. Guys, I like how assertive DeAndre Ayton is looking right now. This is allowing him to stay hot out there. Cousins finds Craig. Rebounded by Johnson. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Back to Aiden. And Aiden with the stuff. Earning his money on the interior tonight. That's a nice move. Herder passes to Cousins. It's stolen by Johnson. Here's Shaman, defended by Jones. The kick out to Johnson. Takes the three. That one doesn't drop. There's 37 seconds left in the first half. Griffin passes to Cousins. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. Boy, that is absolutely gorgeous by DeMarcus Cousins. Run the offense through your big man, and he will find the open man. Here's Shamit, defended by Jones. Johnson a screen on Jones. Fires for three. And Johnson is good for three. The visitors with the ball. Trailing by 13. Craig passes to Jones. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. One second left. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. And so it's Phoenix in a good situation, up by 13 points to close the quarter. We hear teams talk about wanting to get the ball inside, but this is how you do it. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. Welcome. First up on the agenda tonight, let's see how the Rookie of the Year race is shaping up. I really like what we've seen from Evan Mobley, a mobile seven-footer. Mobley can make a huge impact on games, can do a little of everything. I think as his strength improves, this guy could be a force for years to come. Now moving on to the game at hand, some challenges in this first half for the visiting team. They got hammered. I mean hammered on the board. That stat tells a lot about this game. The heart has not been there. The sacrifice hasn't been there. I mean, they just don't want it. Thanks, as always, for watching. Let's head back to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the second half. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. We're seeing a tremendous game from DeAndre Ayton. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. And one would expect that the defense made some adjustments at halftime, but he has the ability to answer right Royce back. Royce O'Neal is out there with Cody Martin. Then there's Kevin Herter. Then it's Kemba Walker. And it's Bialica in at the five. Aiden in the high post. 
Harden against Bridges. The kick out to Paul. Six on the shot clock. The putback. It's good on the putback. And the Suns lead by 13. You've got to keep Aiton off the glass. A second chance opportunity. Easy. Herter against Paul. Herter can't hit. Well, defenses are content to give up the mid-range, right? It's not the high percentage restricted area or the three. You can see they're prepared to give up that shot. And when Aiton isn't playing basketball, either the live or video game version, he's often drawing. Yeah, I mean, he grew up wanting to be an architect. I actually hear that he loves blueprints. But probably his most famous sketch himself, dunking on Joel Embiid his rookie year. And stolen by Herter. Here we go, one on one. Walker for three. The rebound by Bridges. Pass to Shannon. Third quarter here, over a minute and a half into it. Outside Paul. Here's the three. Knocks it loose. I'll tell you, he's trying to help them extend this lead, but it's been a tough night for him individually. And he gets that one. Unselfishness can be infectious. Terrific teamwork. That was another look at our Mobile One drive of the game just a moment ago. They're trying to come back in this game. No, bottom line, it's about energy and effort, exemplified by a possession like that. And the basket by Shannon. That's unselfish basketball. Opted to pass up his own shot and dish to a teammate instead. Here's O'Neal. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. Kaminsky, he's checked in for Phoenix. Sharich comes in for Shamit. Shooting one. One shot. Now Paul. He's got nine. And there's Sharich on the assist from Paul. Sharich has got five. Well, because of his size and length, Dario Sharich so comfortable on the interior. Bielita finds Martin. Back to Bielita. Shoots over Kaminsky. Uses the glass to drop it in. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Well, the league and the world have endured tremendous challenges in recent years. Commissioner Silver said, quote, we found a way to keep going under very difficult circumstances. It required enormous diligence to keep playing throughout the pandemic. We are particularly proud of that. Brian? Hey, the show must go on. Thanks, Allie. It's Walker on the wing. Pass to Martin. Good. And it's Walker who picks up the assist. Walker's got his fourth assist with that last one. The Suns leading. Right side, Paul. Rebounded by Bielitsa. Bielitsa's got five rebounds tonight. Here's O'Neal. Charge covers. Oh, and that one, no question. Powered it down. And he brings this game a little closer using a huge one-hand slam. That's a great way to get your team back into it. Right side, Walker. Martin outside. Pass to Bielitsa. Martin, the pass to Martin. Six to shoot. Back to Martin. Let's the three fly. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Crowder's got four rebounds now. The three. Knocked loose. Wow, just getting all the luck right now, it seems. Good bounce. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Well, you can see the confidence that Mikel Bridges has in himself. This guy's going to take pride in going up strong, forcing the issue, and getting himself to the foul line. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Suns. Yeah, all game long, they had great energy, leading to ample second-chance opportunities, and they converted. And they've also been scoring on the break with how difficult it is to get buckets in the half court. Any time you can push the ball in transition for easy ones, that's big time. He hits the second from the line. And think about this. In an era of load management, Mikael Bridges is a rarity. 
He has never missed a game in college or the NBA. Now here's Martin. Jones, the pass to Craig. To the paint. Here's Martin. And he banks in the layup. Martin's got four points in the quarter. <laughs> this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. And if you talk to Bridges, Grant, he really credits his mom for his determination on and off the court. The NBA, it's a terrific story. Now, she actually made the NBA before Mikhail did. She joined the 76ers organization in 2015, three years before Mikhail was drafted. Now here's Griffin. Jones, the pass to Martin. Shoots over Bridges. No good. A bit long that time. And they've committed to controlling the boards, and it's paying dividends. Up top, Kaminsky. Jones against Bridges. What a terrific move that is. And now it's an 11-point Phoenix lead. Well, Bridges has this floater in the bag of tricks, and you've got to be able to pull it out at the appropriate time. see the story for DeAndre Ayton and over the last five games his field goal percentage has increased and you can make a case his confidence as well because of this the visitors with the ball 11 point game Walker passes to Griffin back to Walker outside Jones it's Walker on the wing and Blake Griffin is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. That is some big-time range from Kemba Walker. The stroke is just so pretty. Walker's got three of his four shots to fall, hitting 75%. Here's Bridges. Good. Bridges has got 11. All game long, he's been getting to his spots, and the defense has yet to adjust. Griffin outside. Inside. And Walker gets it to go on the assist by Griffin. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. And here are the Suns. Bridges passes to Johnson. McGee, a screen on Craig from deep. Johnson. And it's Martin with the rebound. Johnson's got one three-pointer tonight so far in four tries. Pass to Martin. Outside Jones. McGee with the block. A minute 42 left in the third quarter. Ennis goes back up. Out to Bridges. From downtown. Count that one. He's now five for eight. I'll tell you, the team is simply riding the hot hand. This guy has been lights out. Bridges has gone a nice five of eight shooting from the floor. Pass to Craig. Now Martin. Over Kaminsky. The rebound by Bridges. Bridges has got four rebounds in the game. It's Ennis on the wing. Let's it go from deep. Not going to go that time. Still searching for his first bucket. You wonder how far ahead they'd be if he was playing anywhere near his full potential. Craig passes to Griffin. Outside Jones. Drives to the hoop. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Man, good whistle there. Shooting for the away team. Tyus Jones taking two shots. He misses the free throw. Some changes for Phoenix. DeAndre Ayton, he's checked in for McGee. Shamit comes in for Ennis. And it's Paul in for Bridges. He sinks the second. There's 47 seconds left in the third. Outside Johnson. Pass to Aiden. And yep, it's good. aiden has got four points now in the quarter. They've toned down their three-point attack in the second half, looking to protect the lead with higher percentage shots. 
Now here's Cousins. He's covered by Aiden. Two points. That one goes. They're in trouble if they let him post like that. You've got to deny the position to afford them no opportunity at making that entry pass into the post. Here's Shaman. 11 points in the game. Nails it from three. Here in the second half, they're really focused on stretching the floor. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. Herter passes to Craig. Outside Jones. It could go. And it's in. Oh, nails the buzzer beater. Are you kidding? What a huge shot to beat the buzzer. My goodness. Well, that's the perfect end of the quarter for them. You have no idea how much of an effect those buzzer beaters can have on a team's momentum. And so it's the Phoenix Suns ending the quarter up 10. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. We'll be right back after this word. Ladies and gentlemen, your son's youth. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist to the game. Talk about painting a magnificent picture with that dime. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. We call that putting it right in the pocket, and he knew what to do with it once it was there. With three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store. Inside, it's Sharic at the four with Aiton at the five. Landry Shamit is out there with Chris Paul, and it's Crowder in at the three. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Suns. Boy, the consistent greatness of Chris Paul. Playmaker, scorer, defender, leader. Year after year, Chris Paul silences any doubt about his place in this game. Ball hits them both. Here's Jones. Pass to O'Neal. Bielita left side. It's Martin on the wing. Bielita the pass to Martin. Now here's Jones. Shot clock at five. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Aiden's got double digit rebounds now in the game. Crowder against Herter. And he's going for the oop here. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Jones, the pass to Martin. Here's Bielita. Back to Jones. Pass to Herter. No good on the shot. And Phoenix the other way now. One minute in now in the fourth quarter. Crowder with it. Now Herder defending. And Crowder with the jam. Well, Crowder, a terrific athlete. This guy's leaping ability is sick. Here's Herder. The rebound by Shamit. He's been just a little off the mark tonight. Really the story of the game so far. Now Sharich. Paul passes to Aiden. And Aiden with the stuff. Making plays at both ends of the floor. And it shows up in the box score. Well, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. Now here's Paul. To the middle. And Aiton with the stuff. Their offense has been unstoppable. Just firing on all cylinders. And at this point, it is their game to lose. They've done such a good job building the lead. Here's Herder. Bielita, the pass to Martin. Drills it from deep. Yeah, he needs to take a lot more shots. He's been efficient, trying to get his teammates involved, but it's time for him to step up. Phoenix calls timeout. Ladies and gentlemen, your son, you All right, time now to present our new balance player of the game, DeAndre Ayton. 
He has truly put on a show out there tonight, tearing it up on both ends of the floor. So impressive. And the other squad has looked helpless to stop him. And you know, this home arena really appreciates this guy. And it's clear that he takes pride in playing his best in front of them. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Monty Williams was going over with his team. He spoke about their approach going forward. He believes that this is a mental battle. He told his players how we think about each possession will determine the outcome. Let's stay locked in. Okay, thank you, Allie. Now here's Paul. Here's Shamit. The three-pointer off the mark. He is too good a shooter, guys, to be left open like that. The defense just dodged a bullet there. Here's O'Neal. Misses off the left iron. And a chance to add to the lead here. Yeah, B.A., they should really stick with what they've been doing. And the basket is good. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Jones misses. Jones has gone two for seven from the field. Here's Paul. Again, the Sun's good for two. Well, there's been a consistency to the perimeter game of Chris Paul. That jump shot as reliable as it gets. Outside Jones. Into the lane. And the layup is good off the glass. Outstanding pass on time and on target. So it's Phoenix now. They've only given up five points here in the fourth. Shara to screen. Shoots it from the high post. Paul, shot is off. Well, that's a blown defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. Jones finds Walker. Puts up a three. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. The three-point shooting has been on point here in the second half. Here's Paul. Shoots over Walker. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Yeah, you have got to be cautious around Chris Paul. He understands how to lean and when to draw contact. Two shots. That's good from Paul. Boy, viewership numbers are on the rise. NBA business is booming. I guess it's a good time to own a piece, eh, Grant? Hey, B.A., you said it best. The league is in great shape. We have great leadership, talent. It's an exciting time, and I think the league has more growth globally in the years to come. He's forcing the action now, finally getting to the charity stripe after no freebies in the first half. O'Neal misses. They've got a commanding lead. It just seems like everything is going their way. And McGee with the stuff. And <laughs> how sweet was that play? Pinpoint pass, set up the alley-oop flush. Pass to O'Neal. Back to Walker. That shot missing. Paul with some nice D. The Suns on offense. Bridges passes to Paul. And the shot's good. You know, guys, that's the selfless attitude of Mikel Bridges. So willing to give it up to an open guy. Martin outside. Paul against Walker. Drains the triple. Backing up that last three with another three. The defense has to stop giving them so many clean looks. Here's a three from Paul. Offensive rebound. Controls the rebound and the putback. And the Suns lead by 19. Huge putback. This guy plays with so much energy. I don't know anybody that goes after the boards harder. And he stays with it. Walker passes to Martin. Back to Walker. And Mikael Bridges picks up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. Coach is not happy with their effort on the defensive glass. They're giving up way too many second chance points. The loudest second chance in for Jones. Substitution for the away team. Kevin Herter. Give a big hand to your Suns Panther Dance Team. He 
Here's Walker. Soft touch off the glass. Walker's got eight points in the quarter. I'll tell you what a night. He has been efficient. He's been strong. Unfortunately, they're still fighting an uphill battle. Here's Shamit. Herder defending. It's Bridges on the wing. Shot clock at six. Here's McGee. Banked it in off the glass. Oh, he'll wear you down with the way he grinds it out on the offensive glass. McGee's gone four for seven from the field tonight. Herder finds Walker. Buries it from three. Walker's got 16 in the second half. When you're an open teammate, you've got to be shot ready. And boy, Kemba Walker so efficient in the catch and shoot game. Paul passes to Bridges. Trying to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. A minute 39 left in the fourth quarter here. And the shot goes down. Walker's got 22. Combination of things in play here. High basketball IQ, elite handle, strong jumper. Oh, look out, Kemba. Now here's Paul. McGee passes to Crowder. McGee a screen. And the foul called on Nemanja Bielica. That's his third foul so far. And for players, greatness can be defined so many ways. But giving back has to be a component of that, wouldn't you say, Grant? Well, to whom much is given, much is expected. In B.A., I agree 100%. Players today understand the impact that they can have on others. I love that about the league, the players, the coaches, everyone involved, using this gift to make a change and a positive impact throughout the world. Outside Walker. Bielita, the pass to Martin. Outside Walker. For three. Phoenix grabs the miss. They've got time on their side here, Grant. And if they're smart, they'll milk the clock a little. And they had an advantage tonight. Came out sharp and did what was needed. Nice win here for the Suns. The coaching staff has to be happy with the way they've limited their turnovers here. Yeah, B.A., that's hashtag facts. Just tremendous patience and self-control. And for the year now, they've chalked up 35 wins. And against a non-conference opponent, you really want to win the first one. They'll go into the next one knowing how to beat this team for sure. And what a huge performance it was for DeAndre Ayton. We saw him get a lot of touches tonight, and he wasted very few of them. Really made himself the backbone of their offense. Fourth team foul. At the line for Phoenix, JaVale McGee. Taking two shots. He throws good. McGee. It's both from the stripe. And here's Walker. Martin outside. Pass to Jones. Martin outside. And here's Walker. Down low. The three ball. Missed it. So no problem for Phoenix as they get the win. Well, this might not have been the most competitive game we've ever seen, but you've got to appreciate their masterful performance. And I'm sure their fans appreciated it, too. We saw the outstanding defense and a loaded offensive effort, and they were just dominant out there. And that'll do it, folks. For Doris Burke, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, and all of our crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. We'll see you later.